The Nobel Prize, now in its 120th year, remains the most revered of scientific awards. But while the prize and many of its recipients are household names, the people and processes behind the awards are less well known. Chemistry World recently met with Bengt Norden, former chair of the Nobel Selection Committee for Chemistry, to find out more. In this video, Bengt explains the nomination process. Uh, when we invite people to nominate, we try to spread all around the compass too, so we can get as many as nominations as possible. Also from very young people who often are much more alert and aware of what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Some 3,000 invitations only lead to about 300 answers. So we get 300 answers and 300 candidates. You could ask why we don't get more. And my personal uh, thinking is that uh, people are a little shy because if you nominate, you, you show that you put everything on one card. Uh, I hope we can change that by the fact that it's actually possible to, to submit several nominations. You don't need to just select that person or that topic. You could have several in parallel. And then it, everything is much easier. Yeah. So I think um, it, I would prefer to have a little higher number than 300, especially as these 300 uh, uh, who nominate, many of them are the same, who nominate year to year. They have their favorites and so on. So it's not so informative for the process. How much does that list of invitees change from, from year to year? That is changing all the time. If you are not active, you are removed from the list. It never ever happens that one who gets nominated for the first time gets the prize because we need to start the process of investigation and we need a number of investigations to be sure. Um, you, you, you could ask uh, ex experts and you will get slightly different answers. There are some similarities, some overlap, but uh, very often you get a, a widespread. And as you know, in science, what you do then is to ask many, many more. <laughs> and then you get the statistics and you get the spread and you get the sigma and so on, and you can tell yeah. what you can trust. Yeah.